All right, so I have here uh, one of the breadboards you'll be using, and I want to just really quickly go over how this breadboard works. So let's say I put one end of a wire right here into this bottom corner. So there are only four other pins that I can put the other side of the wire into to make a closed circuit, and that's any of these along the same row on this side here. So notice these ones will not make a closed circuit, nor will any of this column make a closed circuit if I was split it in here, and none of the others will as well. So the reason for that is if we look at the back, so there was a cover here, I took it off just to show you. So you can see the metal here that makes each row connected to each other. So it's pretty obvious to see why it's not connected by column, it's only connected by row, and why it's not connected across the middle area here.